Hi guys and welcome back, Battlestar Galactica, I can see Lauren Green now. This is the original, it is the cult classic, let's take a look at this on the PlayStation 2. Battlestar Galactica. The game was developed by Warthog Games and published by Universal Interactive. The producer was Nigel Collins, operations director Steve Law, the character design Justin Sweet, original story Grant Morrison, the script was done by James Swallow and it was made available originally for the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. The original release date was 2003 and this is classed as a sci-fi. I would class it more as a flight simulation. The visuals in this game are based on the design of the original 1978 series. Unlike the original series, the game featured alien races and their technologies. The game does boast the voice talents of Dirk Benedict as Lieutenant Starbuck and Richard Hatch as Captain Apollo. But these characters, it, well, it's hidden content and it is only available through the use of a cheat code. As I've already mentioned, the game was developed by Warthog Games, but it is the very last game that Universal Interactive would actually produce, and the company would, well, dissolve shortly after the game's release. Reading the characters in the book, you play Adama, a 21-year-old newly commissioned pilot aboard the Galactica. Adama's father was the military officer who served alongside Magnus, but was captured and killed at the start of the war. Adama was then raised on Caprica as an orphan until he was old enough to join the academy and begin his pilot training at 15. Well, there you've got a bit of the story, you've got a little bit of the background. I'm into my sci-fi, so it's easily going to get 8 out of 10. Right, that's enough for me, let's get this one going. There are those that believe in free will, and there are others who believe in destiny. Our people forged the twelve colonies of man across the Siranus system, pushing back the darkness to build a future, a safe haven amid the trackless gulfs of space. In our arrogance, we created the machines to serve us, but they tired of their chains and turned on their masters. In one night of blood and fire, the Cylons murdered millions and swore their undying hatred for humanity. The Twelve Colonies were united against them, and together, they exiled the Cylons to the stars. But the war with the machines was not over. And to this day, we fight an unceasing conflict with our inhuman progeny. A war where the price of surrender is extinction. It is the end of the sixth millennium. It is the era of the Cylon Wars. This is the time of the great battle stars. Columbia, Atlantia, Rikon, Pegasus, and the Galactica. Colonial Command has received a signal of alien origin from a world in the Hasari Sector, promising to provide tactical information in the war with Cylons. The Galactica has been tasked to investigate. Colonel Cassia. Thank you, Commander. Red Wing, you'll take four Vipers ahead to scout the planet Nimbus. Galactica, this is Red Leader. We have jump coordinates locked in. Copy that, Captain Lucas. You're clear for light speed. Red 
Red leader to red flight. Activate jump drives on my mark. Mark! Silence! All fighters, defensive formation! Oh, it's an ambush! We've got to warn the Galactica! Thruster power. Oh, frack, I'm a city target. Lucas is gone. Tybo, Rilo, break an attack. He's right on me, Shane. I can't. There's too many of them. Just me now. I gotta shake him off. Galactica, this is Rilo. Do you read? Galactica, respond. Multiple Cylon targets inbound. Respond, please. I'm hit! to your ships. Our recon flight has been destroyed. Blue Wing, prepare for launch. This is Paulus. All systems ready. Let's do it. You're such a hot shot, Kane. This is Adama. Blue 4 is ready for launch. Blue Wing, launch. Our Viper scouts have been destroyed by Cylon Raiders. Sound General Quarters, set Condition 1 throughout the ship. Attention all warriors, we are under attack. This is not a drill. Blue Wing, intercept and destroy all Cylon Raiders. Orders acknowledged, Galactica. You heard the Lady Blue flight. Engage the enemy. Blue Wing, this is Commander Magus. Watch your backs. Another flight of Raiders is approaching. Cassia, try and get a trace on their point of origin. Yes, sir. I'm tracking their jump vectors now. I should be able to get a rough fix on where they came from. We copy that, Galactica. All ships, pick your targets and attack. Terrific. I'm missing the Triad tournament for this. Enemy forces are superior, Galactica. Oh dear. Well, the game starts off with a very epic beginning. I really do like that. It just reminds me of the TV series Something Rotten. As for the actual voice acting, I think this is done to quite a high standard. It doesn't sound rushed, it sounds perfectly scripted and absolutely spot on. As for the actual sounds from the vipers and everything that's going on around you, the shooting, the explosions, it is very in keeping again with the original series. They put a lot of time and effort into at least making sure that the sound on this game is as respectful to the original TV series as possible and that I really do like and for that it's going to just get a very easy 8 out of 10 Maintain Famine's formation Controls. Well, I'd like to say for the most part, this is actually very simple. It's pick up and play, up, down, left and right to control your Viper. Press one button to fire your phasers, press another button to lock on your missiles and let them go. But, <laughs> this is the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the control system and everything you've got to remember. Not only have you also got targeting objectives, 
roll, match, speed, missile configurations, accelerate, afterburners, decelerate. You've got your ship handling to take into consideration. You've also got your wingman commands. Attack, defend, scatter and regroup. You've also got bomber HDs. You've also got pilot control turrets. It, the list goes on and on. You've also got your radar as you can see on there as well. You've got to learn how to read that. The game is made a little bit difficult because of the targeting system. It's not the best out there and it does make it a little bit difficult to, well, to hit the damn ship occasionally. There's a lot to bear in mind. Your ship's controls, your pitch and yaw. At times it's just really overwhelming. And for that and for everything you've got to remember, I am only going to give this a 7 out of 10. Gone. Hull breach imminent. We need help, or we're done for. Adama, what in it? The Raiders are retreating. Cassia, try to compute their escape vectors. Working. Got it. Long-range sensors are reading Cylon comm traffic in an asteroid belt near the Quatara cluster. Blue Wing, I'm sending you jump coordinates. Get over there and take out any Cylon installations you can find. Coordinates locked in, Galactica. We're on our way. Listen up. That asteroid installation has a shield generator, but we can't lock onto it while the jamming signals from the Cylon comm stations are active. Adama, I want you to take off the comm stations. We'll keep the Raiders occupied. Graphics. There is a hell of a lot of detail here on screen. Sometimes it's overwhelming, if I'm honest, but what did you expect? I don't work in space, I don't fly vipers for real, so the level of detail on what goes on the screen, I suppose, has to be of that level. So I suppose I better suck it up, buttercup. As for the colours, it all pops, there's no slowdown whatsoever, and it just looks fantastic. It feels like I'm in my own little episode. And for that, you can't really ask for much more. I am going to give it quite easily another 8 out of 10. Gameplay. Well, let's just concentrate on your ship, the Viper, for the moment. You've got your standard lasers, and then you've got a more stronger lasers if you hold the button down. You've also got your secondary weapons, which is your missiles. What I really do like about this game is the fact that the ship will repair itself if you allow it to by not pressing your, uh, your buttons and attacking all the time allow the ship to repair itself, which may not sound like a big deal, but in the heat of battle when your hull's battered and you're getting close to death, it's an almost necessity. You've also got your on-screen radar to help you pinpoint where the enemy ships are. You will also be able to issue orders to your wingmen, have them attack your target, or maybe help defend you, or if need be, flee the area. At the end of each level, you'll be able to, well, Based on your score, you might be unlocking certain perks, but there's no guarantee on this. It just depends how well you've played it. You've got 14 missions to undertake, so there's plenty to go at. But the bit that really does put the bee in my bonnet is the fact that if you die whilst trying to, well, complete one of these missions, you're not going to start halfway. You're going to have to start right at the very beginning. 
Now this can be very infuriating, especially when <laughs> you just seem to be playing the same level over and over and over again. This is the only real big negative part of this game and for that it suddenly then becomes very repetitive and for that it gets another 7 out of 10. Overall, you have got a fairly decent shooter here, but this would have certainly annoyed the fans of the original TV series. Why? The game has prolonged battles that last quite a long time, with very short cutscenes to help drive the story forward. This is totally opposite of the TV series. Also add to that the fact that you may be replaying levels time and time again, which is a real shame and unfortunately does make it extremely repetitive at times. But get good quick and you'll start to sell through them. All in all, this does get 7.4 out of 10. I'm hit, but I can handle it. Units are in theory and must be eradicated. Well there you have it, that's Battlestar Galactica on the PlayStation 2. I really do enjoy this game, but I also must admit at times I get really bloody annoyed with it, uh, because I just can't seem to get past that one damn level. But stick with it long enough and I'm pretty certain this is a game that you will enjoy. You know, it is an average game, it could have been so much better, and there is better space shooters out there, don't get me wrong. But if you're a fan of the series, try not to get too annoyed with it. Right, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please consider giving me a thumbs up. It really does help. I'll catch you guys again. Take care.